Hi there, John. Liam here at Nanaimo Honda, and I'm going to do a little walk-around video for you of the 2018 Odyssey EX. Now, it is raining, so I'm going to limit my time outside, um, but I'll give you a look at all the features and condition of this lovely van. Now, it was from Metro Vancouver, so originally purchased um, in Metro Vancouver and driven around Metro Vancouver. We brought it across here, and they ended up I believe, like I said, it was a pilot, um, but I'll double check on that as well. They loved it. It was very well kept, and um, they just needed a bit of a newer vehicle. So when you start up the car, you'll notice something quite different from what you're used to. Now, the new Odysseys, they come with a push-button start. And here's the electronic dash. So everything... Electronic, no more analog gauges. And you can see only 28,000 kilometers. And there's just the look at the dash there. So those ACC, LKAS, those little green letterings at the top there, you'll notice they just disappeared there. So that's actually right on the wheel here. Now, this is the adaptive cruise control system and lane keeping assist. It's an awesome safety suite that's in all the newer Hondas, and it's at no extra cost to you. Now, this safety is a phenomenal new feature. What you can do here is it's cruise control, but with this extra element over here, the distance element. So when you're driving in cruise, if the car in front of you, when they slow down, your car also slows down behind them. You also have the lane keeping assist, which on the highways, it'll help keep you center lane, and other safety features as well. Um, like the collision mitigation. So if someone jumped out in front of the vehicle, it would put on the brakes to try and mitigate any impact. Moving over to the left, now this will look quite familiar. You have the door open buttons. Now this is new right below the parking brake, electronic parking brake, and then the Honda brake hold right below there. Brake hold is another safety feature, it's awesome. Really Honda's core philosophy is safety, safety, safety. Now, over here, this is your main display. It's all touch sensitive, so you have all seamless integration through Bluetooth and Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. So when you plug in your phone, if you have an Apple iPhone, all this screen here, all the interface, it'll look like iOS, or you can plug in the Android and it'll look like Android. So basically, uh, it transmits all your phone data and information up onto the screen here. And of course, you can access maps in that regard. So by plugging in your phone, it'll bring everything up here as well as the maps. Now, a lot of people ask, um, well, can I access maps just on the lower trims? That would just be, as I mentioned there, by plugging in your phone. On the higher touring trim, it's just all built in already into the system. Right down below is your shifter here. It's a bit different. Um, so you're probably used to one of the ones over here, um, but it's actually these buttons over here now. So parking and then reverse, neutral and drive, and also the sport mode. Now when you go into reverse, it does have the backup camera, even on the um, lower EX uh, and EXL trims. It is a three angle backup camera as well. So looking straight down, straight back, or my favorite, a wide angle lens. Wide angle is really, really handy. Now when you go up to the top touring trim, this does have an, another feature. And that touring trim is a bit different um, because the safety in that is a bit um, further up. So touring you do get blind spot monitors on the side of the mirrors and then in touring you also get the cross traffic monitor. So when you're in reverse if a car comes zooming through the parking lot it's going to give you an alert that they're um, behind you and that you may reverse into them. So that's just extra bonus um, for the touring trim. Now in drive you drive and sport mode. Now when you go into sport mode it enables these paddle shifters back here and those just enable a more manual transmission like driving style. And you do have heated seats in the front and then on the high trim, the touring trim, you do get cooled seats as well. It does come with a snow mode and eco mode as well. So it's good driving in the snow and then eco to help for the uh, driving fuel rating. Eco saves about 5-10% to 10 of your gas, so over longer drives just around town it's a great feature to sit, uh, use because it just helps save on gas expenditure. You have a trip computer, so your average fuel economy. 
and then um, everything's integrated as well. So for the kids at the back, it does come with the entertainment screen. I remember that. Uh, my favorite feature growing up as a kid, um, having that access was awesome. Uh, climate control up on the corner, up, up there for the kids. And then at the back, it's the bench seating as well at the very back. Same as before, you have the center console here. A bit different style, um, but similar feel. You have the um, storage in the front and then the storage in the middle there. And then USB plug-in as well as the auxiliary plug-in. But all in all, a lot of storage here, just like you're familiar with in your Odyssey. So John, I'd just like to thank you for your time today. If you have any further questions about the Odyssey, please don't hesitate to give me a call at 250-618-9595, that's my direct line, or 250-758-3361 at Honda. I am off work tomorrow, Tuesday, but I'll be um, by my phone and I'll be able to get in contact if you have any questions, and I'm looking forward to hearing from you. And if you're interested in looking at this um, model, take it out for a test drive to kind of compare what that would look like to a new one, um, we can also do that. Looking forward to hearing from you, John. Hope you have a great rest of your week, and bye now. Thanks so much.